Hi there everyone, my name is Luke and welcome to my channel. Tonight is a really iffy looking night to be honest. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to rush and get everything back inside, which doesn't really bode well when I'm using a setup that's this big, but we'll get onto that in a moment. But I'm hoping at least to get a few clear hours and I'll finish off a project that I've been working on for a little bit of a while now, and that's the core of the Heart Nebula. It's called Melot 15 and it's a beautiful target. I've been taking it with my Optolong L Extreme Filter, the 2600MC Pro camera. All shot through the Skywatcher 250 PDS, that's an f4.7, 1200mm uh, focal length Newtonian telescope and I've changed the mounting so the first uh, sessions were actually all shot on the EQ6 which is now what Chloe is using because she's really very kindly helped me buy this thing right here, a Skywatcher EQ8. So as some of you may already know, uh, for those of you who don't, basically I'd been thinking about getting a large amount for a little bit of a while now. Um, I'd always wanted an EQ8 for years, pretty much since getting my first early mounts, but it was never really possible and it still wasn't. Uh, it's only Chloe who made this possible, so I know you're going to watch this, so thank you very much Chloe, I've already told you this, but all the same. Um, but yeah, we basically put out a wanted ad. Uh, she said to me, why don't you just have a look and see if anybody's got one they want to sell. And uh, sure enough, a very nice chap by the name of Steve. Uh, we went up to see him and his wife Jo and a uh, lovely couple and came home with this, my new EQ8 Pro. I couldn't be happier. So those of you who already know, I mean, the main feature of this sort of mount is that huge payload capacity. It can hold 50 kilograms of imaging equipment and then of course another 50 kilogram of counterweight. That's an awful lot of weight to have mounted high up, but fortunately this 250 PDS is nowhere near its capacity. It could hold this, uh, I think, in quite strong winds. So I'm really enjoying using this Newtonian telescope and uh, I wanted to kind of make it a more viable option to do in these British weathers that we often get where most clear nights don't come uh, without a little hint of wind and uh, I was noticing the winds above like 10 to 12 miles an hour or so were making me start to lose sub exposures on the EQ6. It still could hold it and track well when the wind was low but as soon as the winds picked up really at all which they often do in this country um, you start to be really struggling to get any usable data so hopefully this is going to change that because it's held i don't know if you can see but it's held just as solid as a rock by this thing anyway i won't go on for too long basically i think you're going to be seeing a whole lot more of this mount in the future um i did have some really early teething problems uh i was trying to power it with a 12 volt 5 amp it said power supply basically like a little laptop brick that i was using to power the eq6 and it was quite happy being powered by that but this mount was not at all happy with that. In fact, it kind of threw the teddy out of the cot and wasn't having any of it. I was really worried something was wrong, but um, I just hooked it up to a, a car battery that I had laying around. Well, it's actually a leisure battery. And that supplied it with enough voltage and power. And I realized very quickly, this was a power delivery problem. So now I've actually bought a Nevada six to eight amp, 13.8 uh, volt power supply. And that seems to be doing a world of difference really for this type of amount and I have read since that they actually do enjoy having a bit more voltage to these large amounts so anyway all that said I'm going to slew away now to a nearby star to my uh, target as I said it's my lot 15 so I'm going to use CAPF up in Cassiopeia there get focused up and I'll wait for the scope to cool and I'll start with those first sub exposures Well guys, I'm really sorry. I'd hope to bring you quite a lot more from tonight, but the weather has other ideas. I don't know if you can see the moon just up there behind me and how hazy it is around it, but uh, it's kind of wall to wall cloud by this point and there's not much you can do in that situation. Um, I've checked the weather forecast and it looks like there's really no chance of it clearing up, even if I do wait. Uh, in fact, it's likely to get 
worse as in it's going to start raining a little bit later on in the night so i will have to pack things away because it's not something i can just pick up all in one and bring straight back inside um, and i don't want my gear to get wet so it's best not to chance it all the same i do already have plenty of data on this target so i will be able to bring you hopefully quite a nice end result um for the I would say about 95% of the data that I've captured so far, it was all shot with three minute sub exposures. Uh, and basically none of it will be from, unfortunately, this mount, not that there's anything wrong with the mount. That's, I'll get onto that in a moment. Um, but yeah, it was all captured on the EQ6 on a much better night than tonight, as you can imagine. Um, I did get a chance while the scope was just cooling down to test out the EQ8's guiding performance and things. Um, and yeah, I can see I'm really, really impressed. There's a little bit of a breeze tonight, but not really much to speak of. So it's not a great test for uh, how wind resistant it's going to be. Um, but I can say that it's guiding just as good, if not maybe even fractionally better than my EQ6 was. Uh, and mine's a tuned EQ6 and it works phenomenally well. Uh, really good performance extremely happy at that uh, the mount is very quiet in operation as well that's another thing i noticed um i think only one axis on these slightly older eq8s belt driven that's just right ascension um but still when it's slewing around the sky and such very quiet i'm really impressed just by how it's all working anyway that's about it i'd just like to say if you enjoyed the video then please do leave a thumbs up for me as it's going to help promote this video in the youtube algorithm however that works and hopefully reach more people and by extension it'll help me grow this channel which is something i'm really really enjoying doing so if you could do that for me that'd be fantastic thank you very much indeed i'd also like to say thank you so much for watching as i do appreciate your time i say this a lot but i always mean it and a very special thank you as always goes out to all my youtube channel members you guys you know you are and i really do hope you know just how much i appreciate all the support that you've given right from the start so thank you very much indeed and i think that's about all i've got for you tonight i'm gonna have to get things back away now before it all starts getting rained on so until next time clear skies